Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Brood War cast. We've got Sins today, who's uh, kind of on the chopping block here. He is a regular in the ACS. He is a strong Protoss who's appeared in multiple CKWs. Uh, he's played in, you know, China versus Korea, uh, different Chinese invitationals, different in, uh, Korean invitationals and foreign invitationals. Hasn't quite reached the level of ASL just yet, but he often goes up against some ASL pros on the ladder. And that's kind of what we've got here today is just a conglomeration of sins versus a bunch of top, top tier Zerg players. First up is going to be action. We've also got soul key and Soma to watch. So this is going to be a bit of a Zerg gauntlet that we're putting sins through. And we're going to see how he measures up. You can see an overpool has begun here for action. He's going to try to get his drone down to the natural, try to get a base going here. But Sin's going to do his best to just kind of block that as you do. I think he might actually get this. Oh, yeah, he does. Nice. So action going to go ahead and get that. The opener here is, of course, the forge opener. We will try to throw down a Nexus and a couple of cannons after this, depending on how many uh, links he sees popping. He's a little bit concerned about seeing three eggs right here, and those eggs do pop. But the cannon is already on the way before the eggs uh, popped out. Ooh, great block there. Really, really good block. Coming right down that reverse ramp. Sometimes the links don't want to go in the correct direction, and the more you can block this, the more time you buy, the better off you're going to be. Oh, this is some great blocking here. Action should not be allowing this to happen. You have to be paying attention to these lings and keep uh, attacking the probe whenever you see the blocking so that he can't keep doing that forever. But he's managed to get away with a lot here. A second cannon's going to start, but I think he'll cancel after he goes past these lings and sees more drones popping in the main. I think for sure he'll end up canceling two probes in that natural uh, entrance should be enough to stop six links here and you know what sin starts off this game with a nice little advantage it's not the end of the world of course action absolutely capable of bringing this one back and bringing it to a win uh, despite any early disadvantage he is considerably stronger overall than sin so It's nice to have a little advantage here, but it's definitely not the end of the world. Now, two cannons. He did let this second one finish. I'm a little bit... Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like you could have gotten your Cyber Knight score a lot faster here, Sins. If you had just believed in yourself a little bit more here. The scouting was good. The probe was alive for a very long time. He got in there, he saw that there was a lair on the way, he saw that drones were coming out. He didn't specifically, he didn't actually need this. If he just lets the two zealots sit here in the wall with one cannon, there's really no way to break that as just pure ling. So I guess with the two cannons, he can now move out with the two zealots and that's the kind of consolation prize here. At least he'll be able to move out, put on some pressure and maybe get some more scouting information, but I don't think it's totally optimal here. I could be wrong, of course. Trying to min-max as much as possible against a stronger player. It's so, so important that Sins takes every little edge he can get because action will just run with whatever victories he can get. Spire is on the way. He's going to pull Sins apart if, uh, if Sins doesn't play perfectly, of course. We've got that Cybernet score here. Just finishing up now. So the star gate will finish or will begin, excuse me. And looking at the timing here, I don't think you're going to be able to get any overlords. The Stargate does build quite fast though. Singularity charge on the way. Now that's a bit interesting. This is going to be some sort of Dragoon all in. That is quite, quite interesting. 
The four zealots head all the way up to the natural, but decide to turn around. That's a good choice because a lot more lings are about to pop out. This one zealot could get caught. Got to be a bit careful with that one. Does make it back to the natural. Good stuff from Sins because he wants to keep as many of these units alive as possible. We may go to like four gate goon, five gate goon, something like that. Let's see how many gates he adds on here. You can see no spinning forge any longer. May not have even started that in the first place. Hydra Den on the way. There's a couple of different schools of thought on how to deal with this. You could just throw down extra hatches and go for uh, Muta Ling to defend against a potential Dragon All-In, but he may not know about this just yet. Seeing the uh, forge is not spinning is a very good tell. He should be pretty suspicious at this point as to what's going on. And he is producing quite a few units. You can see he's not droning super duper hard. Stopping at 26. We have Scourge coming out now. This Corsair will not get any kills. The Zealots are going to have a very hard time finding even this number of Lings. And so he needs to stay back for now. Those are very important uh, for tanking uh, damage for the Dragoons. So when the push eventually comes, you need them to kind of body block. Keep the lings off of you. He's going to build a third Corsair. But we've only got two gateways so far. It's a little bit interesting. I'm a little bit surprised to see only two gateways. Uh, I'm going to fly through. He's going to see the gateway. We need more gateways here, Sins. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Double robotics facility. Holy. Okay, that is a hard left turn. Jeez, I just about choked on my water there. So he is going to be going for Reaver. Reaver and Shuttle. It's going to help him to hold off these uh, Hydras that are coming up to attack his front. But it's going to be pretty tough to pull off against someone the caliber of action. Action to push right in here. Start to hit this gateway. He's almost got range done. The Dragoons on the high ground are a nice touch. Pretty hard to hit that gateway when the Dragoons are there. Oh, oh, one Dragoon going to run out. Every unit is so important right now. Cannot be losing this. That's very rough for Sins. It's going to be a little while longer yet before we can get some reavers to the front. And how many cannons is this? Eight cannons already. Corsairs are flying around looking for some damage. Of course, the Scourge can still be pumped out right now. He's going to hit this front. The Trigun on the high ground is honestly doing so much. It's preventing action from just killing this wall in. He starts Scarab Damage. Why would you start Scarab Damage rather than Shuttle Speed? That seems crazy to me. Two Reavers are on the way, so there's no way he gets broken. A massive hatch of drones right there. Very few drones, though, overall for action. And again, this is not a terrible position for Sins. He's actually looking kind of good here. Just try to come out. Probably not the right choice. You definitely want to wait for those uh, Reavers to hit the field. That is all his splash damage. It definitely needs to wait for those. There's the first two. Two more on the way. I think he may wait for two more Reavers and then two shuttles and go. Because we'll have Scarab damage. We'll have this armor upgrade finished. And these drones will just be starting to kick in. Uh, as all of that comes together. Now he's going to try to push out a little bit here. I'm very afraid that he's going to end up losing Reavers before he even has this upgrade done. That was great. Not losing the uh, Reavers and killing quite a few Hydras. He's actually going to go for an Observer, which is absolutely not what he needs right now. There's a bunch of Mutas being made. We're very far away from Lurker. 
It's not on the menu at all here for action. The Muta and Cor uh, Mur Muta Scourge combo could actually ruin all the plans here for Sins. So I hope you'll prepare for that accordingly. He's finally getting plus one on the way. Do we have armor? No, we do not. Four Reavers out here in the front is kind of crazy. That's a lot of Reavers. Not very easy to snipe Reavers with the Mutas. Unless they're not accompanied by any anti-air. And I think that's plenty that we're seeing on screen right now. This is a very strange army. I'm not sure how these two are going to interact. But the Mutas are searching around for an opportunity to maybe get a snipe on one of these Reavers. Here he goes. To try and get a kill on one of these. Oh, Sin's making a bit of a mistake there. And he loses a Corsair and a Reaver. Only able to pick up a couple of Scourge on the back of that. Do we have drops coming out? Where are the shuttles? What am I even looking at? He's going to take a Nexus here. That's crazy. Sin's is a wild man. He's going to put a bunch of cannons here and try to hold with just a Reaver at the third base. He's allowing action to get a little bit out of control, I think. He's been... Pretty much allowed to just drone like crazy. And now at 45 drones, the six uh, hatches. I mean, he's gonna, he's just gonna crush it. He's gonna have so much stuff. A lot of these mutas are gonna go down. Nice uh, control there by Sins at least. Killing off a lot of those mutas. Now free with the, the Corsairs to just kind of search around. If he finds these overloads in the bottom right, that would be insane. That could actually be a game-winning move if he finds those down there. Could pick off absolutely everything. These mutas are going to fall. Pretty big army here in the middle from action. Are we finally going to get a shuttle? I still don't see any shuttles. That's pretty wild to me. Is he just going to slow push across the map? Leave one reaver back at home? And slow push all the way across? We might actually see that giant crawl of Reavers. Here we go. Four Reavers here. Another two about to pop out. Gonna go up to six Reavers. Is that the timing for Sins to go across the map? It's really funny for me to see a pro player like this be confronted with such a wacky kind of off-brand build. Very interesting to see how they do when being tested like this. Some like random, truly like ladder build for sure. Seems like the Corsairs are all stuck here on the right hand side. But this will give some opportunity, some space for these Reavers to move out. 11 more Mutas on the way. Can he actually connect with some of these Scourge? Ooh, he does connect with a few, but there's still eight. Corsairs. As long as he keeps these alive. Oh, he really needs to bail out. Uh, he had an opportunity to run back to his army, but doesn't end up taking it. That's so many Reavers. What is going on? Six Reavers out here in the middle. Just daring action to come in and try to fight him over here. The Corsairs are going to be spotted. We end up losing a couple of those. Nope. Keeps the majority of them alive. He really needs to get back to the army with this. Otherwise, these mutas could do huge damage. Coming through with 11 mutas. Ready to try and snipe some of these reavers. Here we go. One reaver going to be targeted. That reaver going to go down pretty quickly. Second reaver in the crosshairs here. That's going to fall. Another reaver being targeted by, down by a hydra. Two more are coming out here. A lot of Overlord's going to run in with the Corsairs backing them up. Now the uh, Mutas are no longer an issue, but these Hydras are in high enough number. I think he might be able to break through with all the reinforcements coming up. Action. Overwhelming Sins being forced back right now. Even with that number of Reavers, still not able to hold on here against the might of the Zerg. Everything going to be killed off, and I think this has to be GG action. Going to take game number one. Sins not quite able to hold up. Wow, that was an insane Reaver shot. That did so much damage. Looks like the Reaver down here got killed, but the 
Cannons will still hold the line. I guess this game isn't fully over, right? We've st just gotten the fourth base online. There's a third here for Sins. Still possible that he can win this, I guess. It's just when you see, you know, six or eight Reavers fall <laughs> in a push like that, it feels like the game has to be over at that point. However, there are three Robos pumping out Reavers and he's back up to four Reavers once again. Uh, are we going to make another round of Muta to come in and try to take them out? Because no more Corsairs are being made, which is a little bit concerning. Not enough anti-air. Could spell the doom here for Sins. It was pretty much his downfall in that last engagement. He didn't have his Corsairs with his army. So Action was able to come running in and just gun down a couple of those Reavers during the engagement. More Corsairs are being made now. But they're just plus one Corsairs and plus one armor is already done on these uh, air units. Plus two is going to be done here pretty soon. So the Mutas can start to hold their own against the Corsairs uh, if you reach that plus two, if you get that. Uh, upgrade advantage it becomes quite strong or they become quite strong starting to run out of minerals everywhere is sins he's only got one base now one base mining that fourth base is operational here for action some hydras kind of running by right now maybe gonna get caught over on this left hand side though that's quite a few cannons let's see Reavers pushing forward, slow pushing across the map. This is so funny. I've never really seen this. The slow push of Reavers across across the map just completely uh, disregarding the use of uh, shuttles here. What a funny way to play this one out. Sins is going to continue to push. The Reavers here going to catch some counterattacks on the left-hand side. Oh. Corsairs are getting gunned down. Oh no, he lost a bunch of those Corsairs. He's going to lose another before the full engagement comes through. This is five Reavers pushing in towards the natural. The uh, Mutas are going to go around this and maybe catch the Reavers at the back side of this push. No more reinforcements can come forward at this point. Corsairs are out. He actually needs a lot more Corsairs to deal with this. So many Mutas. Oh, he's getting split between these Reavers. Some of them are at the front. Some of them are at the back. He can't keep his army together right now. All the Reavers are kind of spread out. You can see these ones are not being covered now. Action could absolutely abuse that. So many Mutas. So many Mutas in the sky. And that plus two is just about to finish. I think this is the moment when Action could pull the trigger and crush this attack. Two more bases down here in the bottom right. Action is growing absolutely out of control. And Sins is about to find out. Here we go. Bunch of Mutas making their way over here towards the natural. The Reavers are coming back. Some of them just being left out in the middle. I think these ones are going to get found and ultimately killed off for free. Yeah, that's really painful. Oh my gosh, action just not killing that. That is a shock. He just leaves these three Reavers alive. Just a little nod to them as he flies past. Gives them the respect and uh, just going to go around this army, I guess. Those are free kills right there, though. 11 more Mutas. I think that Action might be toying with Sins now at this point. He might just be kind of messing with them. Like, this is getting to be a little bit ridiculous. Is he finally going to take this engagement? Gonna just go for the main base. I think this is a great choice, actually. Just going in for the main. Start to kill off these buildings. You can go for the robotic support bay. You can kill the Stargate. He's gonna force all of these Dragoons back up into the main. And then he can just fly out. No big deal whatsoever. Stargate gonna get targeted. Uh, Cyber Core gonna get targeted. Now you're not gonna be able to build anything at all, basically, aside from Reavers. Reavers is all you're able to build at this point. All the Reavers here in the front. That's hilarious. There's 
five Reavers sitting here on top of each other. He could easily go for all of these. Just gonna kill one. The Corsairs will go down. Target the Reavers. Yes, he will. Targeting down all of these Reavers. That's so many Mutas going to work on the Reavers and he just backs away. No need to stay any longer. 65 drones. Plenty of bases to work with. And the Muta count is just continuing to grow. We've got two armor plus one. Attack is on the way as well. S six zealots are on the way, by the way, guys. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do too much for Sins. Yeah, and just pure Ling and Muta will take the day. Sins taps out from game number one and action takes it away. Next up is going to be Soul Key. We'll see if Sins fares any better against the two-time ASL champion. Let's take a look. Well, a very wacky game that last one. I'm not sure what to think about that reaver push, but what I know is that doing a reaver push like that is unlikely to work if it has to be done twice. You really need to get it to work on the first try or you're just going to be in quite a substantial amount of trouble. Now, Soul Key here down at the bottom center, he's gone with a nine pool. The extractor tricked a 10th drone and he's using it to scout and since he checks the natural he doesn't see a hatchery and he just assumes that uh, soul key is going to be in top left which that is quite unfortunate um, for Protoss if soul key is a god he will turn this overlord all right not quite not quite a god but if you turn that overlord it makes it look like you're actually uh, up in top left. In, in fact, Sins will still head in this direction. <laughs> and he won't find his opponent. So he's actually in quite a bit of trouble right now. He's not, he still doesn't know what's going on. Um, but he has to assume that it's some sort of nine pool. Because there's no hatchery down here he, when he checked. And uh, because of that, we basically know that it has to be a nine pool. Um, there's no reason to put the hatchery anywhere else. And the Lings are not going to surprise him here at all. Two Zealots are out. Third, third Zealot's going to come in a moment. He has to challenge this when the Pylon starts to take damage. But he can't quite fight this just yet. He needs the three probes with this. And he needs them all to be attacking while the Zealots are attacking. This is pretty good control by Sins. Did he buy enough time there for the third Zealot? Oh, just barely. And that Pylon will finish so he may be able to hold on yet three lings here in natural looking to go around this the one zealot is uh, a pretty blunt instrument to be dealing with all these lings hitting in different locations not very easy to do a precision strike here and actually get rid of any of these lings and the probes going around the top side they actually do a great job he kills a bunch of this there's that next zealot popping out. Has to take a fight here. Good target on that one probe. But also very good control displayed here by Sins. One Ling gonna get into the main. That is it. And I think that Sins will count himself very lucky that that's all that managed to get in. However, the gateway falls. And with the gateway going down, there's not a whole lot you can do at this point. And Lings can just continue to be made. And eventually he'll get overwhelmed. Luckily, there is a gateway finished in the main, so he can still make some uh, zealots, but it's going to be a little bit tough from here on in. The third zealot's not quite out yet. These uh, zealots here are taking quite some damage. More targeting on a few of these probes. There's still 17 probes, just seven drones, so it's uh, a little bit lopsided in that case. Zealots here taking a little bit extra damage. They don't want to be at the front right now. You really want to get the probes on either side. There's a good probe pull. Having two probes on either side of those two Zealots and dealing damage at the same time as the Zealots is fantastic. Solki is just about broken him, but if you barely don't break him, the, uh, the Protoss player, it's actually worse than if you don't even try at all. Got four lings in the main now. That's actually quite important because ling speed is about to finish. I really wish that Sins would have tried a little bit harder to prevent these from getting in. It seemed like he 
just wanted to make sure he lived, which is understandable, but now that the Lings are in the main, I don't know if Sins can stop these from dealing mass damage. Photon Cannon is about to finish up. About halfway done, but there's the Ling speed. Can he dive in, start to get some kills? One goes down. Lings that are the, the zealots that went across the map. I think they came back. Two zealots here in the natural, just holding that uh, cannon area. Another probe goes down. Another probe goes down. It's now 19 to 16. And this is getting worse and worse for Sins. I think he's still in an okay spot. But this is never a position that you'd want to be. You'd never choose this against a player of Solki's caliber. You really would like to have things go a little bit more smooth, I think. And not have his lings in your main base. Just having a Solki ling in here alone kind of puts you at a disadvantage as a bit of a slower uh, Protoss player. Someone who's not quite at that ASL caliber. The more things that go wrong in a game, I think the more favored um, the pro player is going to be it because of their ability to just adapt on the fly. Uh, chaos can be a good weapon, uh, but if you're less capable of handling the chaotic... What's it called? Um, ebb and flow in a game like this, then the worse off you're going to be now. Cyber Core is on the way, but Lair is about to finish. And so we may end up seeing these Mutas come out quite a bit fa faster than Sins does expect. It's a surround with the probe at least. Looks like he will finish off that one Ling. These Zealots are going to come over here and take a fight against the pretty substantial number, number of Lings that Sulky has amassed. Um, he's going to take this fight at the last moment here, and Sins realizes, oh boy, that's a lot. I'm going to have to try and take the best fight possible. And he's doing a pretty good job with this micro, but Sulky just has a bit too much. A few too many lings here. A few more lings are going to pop out, and he is going to take this fight now. Fire's on the way, as is the Stargate. And Stargate will actually finish first, but the Spire is very close to being done, so we are going to have Scourge in time, it seems. One Zealot managed to slip around the side here as the Six Hatchery comes up. We're going to be transitioning into a potential Six Hatch Hydra, although we'll have to see how many Mita's soul key wants to make in this game. The links are all the way across the map, so maybe the cell can deal some damage, actually. Little moves like this are what can really throw off a Zerg player. But he manages to just buy a little bit of time. Uh, pushing these zealots, are these uh, drones off the mining for a moment or two. Not really much more than that happening right now for Sins, though. Seems like Solki has really respected the production of Sins and made sure that he wasn't going to take any damage anywhere in this game. And he is just looking so scary. Look at how quickly he's getting his drone number up. He's got pressure on the map. He's got enough links to deal with anything coming out of Sins right now. And... I mean, this is the type of Zerg player that I aspire to become the one that can just handle all of the oh i think we killed a, a corsair here too Ooh, that's rough losing a corsair right there is actually gonna prompt sulky to make a whole bunch of mutas will he make a yeah he's got the third gas already so we're probably gonna see a, a mass muta play he has armor on the way bunch of scourge are gonna pop soon i bet you the Hydroden is done, but it's not being used just yet. And that's because we're going to go into a huge amount of air. Three Zealots coming across, but these Lings and these Mutas are going to be more than a match for them. Hydra speed does start. Hydra attack is going to be taken as well. 
These zealots are getting tracked down. Looks like he's just going to split. Try to save as many of them as he can. Looks like he'll only be able to save the one. And he's got cannons everywhere. He doesn't have many Corsairs, though. Just one Corsair going up quickly to eight gateways. Because Sins wants to move out on the map. Got to be careful, though. In this position, Solki can absolutely just come in, snipe all of your Templar, and make the rest of your army look silly with the mass Hydra play. Some more Mutas coming up to harass this natural. 14 Hydras in production right now. 46 drones. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. 46 drones is that magic number. The Corsair goes down and start to come in and pick off some of these probes, but he's instead going to go for the kills on these Templar. He gets the two of them. Not really able to storm anywhere significant here. Sins tries to storm beside the mineral patches, hoping that the Mutas will, go, will kind of pass through that. But uh, Sulky just stays on top of the probes and nets himself a couple of quick Templar kills and he's just closing this out so nicely. We're making a ton of Hydras right now. Absolute massive number of hydra Hydras on the way. The fourth base is coming up as well. We may end up seeing one round of drones be ma being made. We might build like suddenly you know, 12 to 14 drones uh, and just instantly saturate that fourth base. But for now, he's mostly just making Hydras and making sure that he has the critical mass so that we can't see a quick comeback here from Sins with a big push across the map being successful. Lurker upgrade starts. This is a great time to drop a big round of drones and there it is 12 am i good or what guys i did not watch this game before but there it is 12 drones exactly in production for soul key this is this is the part that uh i love but i'm also so frustrated about is that i absolutely know <laughs> what is supposed to be done and how this game is supposed to be played but it's so hard to make it work <laughs> to make it happen uh, in my own games and it's, it is like I said incredibly frustrating but there goes all of those drones heading up to that fourth base he saturates it instantly and he can even put us uh, another hatchery here and really should put another hatchery here soon uh, as that income starts to ramp very important to get that extra hatchery guys I just I, I know the game so <laughs> I I really do it really does uh make me quite frustrated but anyway we're gonna work on that uh i'm back it's monday um it'll be monday for you guys on uh, monday morning or no yeah monday morning for you guys when this video comes out and um on monday night i will be streaming uh, i probably won't play too much ladder i'll just be doing some studying uh that that was what i i told myself anyway and we'll see if that ends up panning out it's I should just be doing uh, a bunch of study and practice and uh, VOD review and stuff. If we play any ladder, I'll definitely be reviewing my VODs and trying to improve because uh, that has been the goal for a long time and it just hasn't really panned out that well, uh, as you've heard from some of my most recent casts. This army moving northward. Big group of Hydras out on the map right now. He's going to draw the Protoss army up into the top. I think this is fantastic for Sulky. He does get kind of caught here, but he manages to pick off a couple of Templar. And that makes it kind of worthwhile. Two Templar for about eight Hydras. It's not the greatest trade. But the main concern here is just buying time. We want to buy time for these Lurkers to pop. Seven are in production. Uh, our main economic engine has just come online. And we're sitting here on four bases with 57 workers to just two bases with a third now just coming online here for uh, our Protoss opponent. And so, you know, just buying that time, running around, trying to snipe Templar if we can. 
all these things are great for soul key he just needs to figure out where this army is going to be make sure that he's got lurkers to deny it now he's thinking that the army's going to come through here and he's already set up on this high ground now i would expect maybe uh you know change in uh, attack pattern like why don't we as a protoss player just go around and come through this way like just come down here and go through here right if we come into this position or we come into this position uh it's a little bit harder a little bit harder for the uh, zerg to actually uh defend that but uh he's gonna try and come back to try and save this fourth base fourth base does go down it's a very nice snipe from sulky and you know the fourth base is not completely necessary just yet he clears that out he's gonna get a probe up to that top right and get the nexus going but meanwhile we have hive done we've got more evos coming up uh we should have yeah there it is defiler mound on the way uh crackling upgrade is coming plus one attack melee attacks is coming plus two is done uh, plus two armors on the way everything is really rolling along here for soul key and in this situation like this i don't really feel like soul key can lose unless we have some really impactful drops in this game we've already got mutas and scourge in here we've got a pretty decent set of overlords you can see quite a bit of overall map awareness here for soul key he sees a lot of the map and he really knows where the protoss army is for the most part and so i think it's unlikely um that we'll see soul key lose with this 10 supply advantage but here we go with this engagement and a lot of uh, lings being eaten up and needs to get an observer over on this side coming through this uh angle uh, I think it was a good idea uh, a minute or two ago when there wasn't all these lurkers here. But now that there's a bunch of lurkers, maybe time to back up. Hasn't taken a fourth base yet, which I'm a little bit concerned about. He's losing some dragoons on the top part as well. A um, bunch of dragoons end up falling there. I feel like Sulky is really starting to outplay uh, Sins as time goes on. You can see the the skill difference here in terms of army movement and the way that uh sulky's engaging very nice snipe with those three lings just quickly picking off one of those templar templar are gonna slowly come forward here as the dragons try to help push up uh Drifiler's not quite ready yet but that's still quite a lot of lings and look at all this army in the middle of the map oh my goodness it's so much things are gonna come from behind try to slow things down as lurkers and hydras come from the north one storm should be placed right there. Guess he doesn't have it. Okay, there it is. Storm does go down. Lurker's here. Ooh, quite the maelstrom. But does he have the storm to follow it up? No, he does not. GG is called an absolute surround here at the end of this game. Soul Key takes down Sins. Very nicely done. That's so many lurkers that he had at the end. Pretty dominant performance here from Sulky, but I expect nothing less from the current ASL champion. We've got one more game here. It's Soma, who's still technically in the army, still in the military, but he managed to get a game on the ladder versus Sin. So we're going to check that out now. Let's go. Okay, Soma here in the top left-hand corner versus sins and we've seen some interesting stuff from sins this series so far feels like a bit of a ladder player that's for sure got some wacky builds tried to put some pressure onto soul key soul key went with the nine pool definitely with the lings getting in and all that Managed to get enough damage. I mean, it was close. It was really close. Sometimes, uh, if you're doing a nine pool like that, like what we saw Sulky do, and you just make like one tiny mistake, like you take an engagement where 
the zealots have just a little bit too much surface area or the uh, the probes are getting more damage over the zealots and you uh, end up losing a few too many lings or you know you forget an overlord at home or something like that things can fall apart so quick with a play like that it's kind of wild but in this in that game he was able to do everything at the same time as only Sulky can. He put the pressure on. He s slowed things down. He managed to run by. He took all the correct fights. And he macroed back at home. And he kept everything going. So he was able to find himself in a very good spot. Now Sins here. Going up against Soma. Soma actually went for... I believe this was... Uh... 10 or 11 pool we actually waited for the overlord to pop before dropping that uh spawning pool so went for a little bit heavier drone production here and it's gonna get the hatchery out a bit quicker that gas coming down 245 oh a little bit of a mistake there he started another drone right as that was about to uh place so does slow down his gas just slightly however it's nothing like crazy quick on the side of sins he's got his cannon on the way he did go for nexus after forge he's got the gateway down now so he's gonna be fine here but um i guess we're gonna get a pretty decent a uh, macro game out of these two uh, probably most likely he hasn't been able to stay in long enough to see if there's going to be a layer or not, unfortunately. It was a great block with the drone to prevent the uh, probe from staying alive for just a few more seconds. Now, if that had been on a mineral walk command, as it should have been, uh, I think that Sins would have been able to keep that alive. Usually when you're headed towards the, the ramp, you might as well click uh, a mineral patch. And then right as you're about to get to the ramp, you turn... And move around, come back up this direction. Keep try to keep that alive. I don't see a layer. There might be a layer over here. No, there's not. Hundred gas. Speed. Ah, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Need it layer now. No layer at all. Um, I think this is gonna be a hydra bus, guys. I think we're gonna see a hydra bus here in a moment. Call me crazy. But uh, Hydra Bus seems likely at this point. Some drones not working. There we go. Getting back to work here. Overlords are about to pop. Drones are on the way. Still no layer. A fourth hatch? Ah, uh, okay. Maybe it's four hatch or five hatch Hydra. Try to bust in at uh, eight and a half minutes. Something like that. Air weapons. Coming online. We've got the Stargate finishing up now. And Hydraden comes down in the front. Is this actually going to be a bust? Maybe we produce a few Hydras, hold the front, try to keep the Overlord alive, kill the wall, and then switch it up into a uh, like a later hydra bust okay layer is on the way so four hatch hydra just pure four hatch hydra we've got 31 drones now to the 35 probes this is a pretty decent macro position but we're missing a very important tack this might just be a macro play actually out of soma fifth hatch is on the way hydras are finally going to start to get pumped I don't think he actually attacks here. I think he builds the minimum number of Hydras to keep the Overlords alive. And then just starts back into drone production. And then eventually, uh, once he hits 45, switching back into Hydra production. I think that's what we're about to see here. He's like almost there already. Does need the Evolution Chamber, of course. He's going to get that. Over in this third base. No sunken right here. But this is a very nice spot to just put your hydras. Um, hydra range is coming. 
four overlords on the way. I guess we lost one overlord over on the other side. So wasn't able to save that overlord. But it's not going to get super supply blocked here. He is kind of supply blocked right now. Okay, this is actually a pretty big one. But uh, he will unblock himself in just a moment. Make a fourth hatch, I think. Or a sixth hatch, excuse me. Sixth hatch. I think this is about to be a sixth hatch. There it is. Full on Hydra production now. It's time. 34 drones. Pretty decent amount for three bases. Of course, 45 is better, but we need to build at least enough to deal with these zealots first. So he's going to pump out a few hydras, I think, and then switch back into zealot production. Just kind of polish off that zealot, that uh, total, or not zealot production, drone production. You know, kind of top up that drone number and then back into hydra for just a huge amount of hydras to defend here we do not have a spire just yet is he going to go for the throat potentially is he just going to go across the map try to break the natural there's two more cannons coming up zealots are going to find these hydras in the middle but with a bit of good micro can take a really nice trade with those their overlord going down. It's actually going to supply block Soma once again. He doesn't have overlord speed just yet. Which is turning out to be quite a problem. Another Corsair goes down. Oh, no. So let's all his Corsairs die. That's, that's pretty rough. A lot of cannons coming up back at home. Are we going to start a uh, Lurker? No third gas just yet. Four drones in production. He is. There's the third gas. All right. I like it. Get it. Get it. Get the third gas. Ugh. Oh, that is frustrating. This is just a mistake. So, okay. There we go. He does get it. 36 drones. If he makes 10 more drones, he will be good to go on three bases. That's when you can really start to hit that uh, massive spike in economy. He's almost got that number right now. He'll just be checking. Uh, making sure he's got the right amount seven more drones he's actually going way higher than he really needs to that's quite a quite a few more drones than you need but it's it's not too bad 49 instead of 45 it's uh not a huge deal here there we go singularity charge interesting just going straight into uh Dragoon range here expecting a lurker transition Well, we've actually got spire on the way. I think the lurker transition makes sense um, When you've got this much map control you can start start to set up a big lurker contain here but Soma doesn't want to stay static. He wants to continue to grow Lurker, oh, okay. He actually goes lurker and ten more drones on the way as the fourth starts to come up He's going to go ahead and grab that fourth. Keep chasing these zelts around. A huge amount of drones coming up. 56 he's going up to. And we may see Mutas on the way here soon. No, just three pairs of Scourge. Three, three pairs of Scourge. This is likely to catch uh, the Corsair and, of course, those observers that are going to be flying around. The first observer is about to pop out here, but... They are just such easy targets with those Scourge. If you can continue to pick them off over and over again, you're going to find yourself in a really nice spot. Soma transferring workers over here to the fourth. He's got a very nice setup of Hydras on the high ground. Well split. To make sure that when the engagement comes, when the Protoss army pushes out, he can't just get one amazing storm on a big group of Hydras and I take a really great trade. Having a hard time pushing out right now. Sins is stuck in his base at the moment. He's thinking about trying to push forward. We're about to see a big round of lurkers getting made here. This is domination, I feel, from Soma right now. I don't know that Sins can actually get out of his base. We could be rallying everything to the front at this point. Let's just take a look at the vision of Soma. Isn't that incredible? He sees absolutely everything. Everything that go that's going on here for Sins is being completely dominated by Soma. 
gonna set up a big round of lurkers here on this high ground nice and spread out here and i think if we see the army move up to this location to defend the third we can easily see someone come forward and take over this area cover the other side of the bridge there and maybe force an engagement from this protoss army and so he's just gonna sit for now as long as the third base is not getting taken i think he's absolutely fine with this he is um completely happy with the position that he's in i don't see any scourge right now but sniping observers would be really really helpful right now but a few reinforcements here to the north one thing i find i occasionally do is when the protoss players tries to come up the the ramp is i start to th just throw big four uh you know groups of 12 at them um and it tends to not go too well you can just see what Selma's is doing is he's letting his lurkers kind of die well, he's not letting them die but he's letting them get their damage and fall um but he's keeping back most of his units as the storms come out here oh those are some nasty nasty storms dealing a lot of damage and maybe just maybe he can actually break through that was kind of a rough storm I'm gonna place that in the middle between everything so it really didn't do that much work big rounds of hydras and links coming forward and although it looked like since may have a chance to break out now that the rallies have made it here it's looking pretty dire next round of zealots is gonna prompt sins to try and push forward once again He's got some storms here prepared, but can he get the big storms that he needs? He loses his Templar after just one storm. He actually had two storms available on that. Overlords are flying in and getting massacred. And so this trade might go okay for Sins. He's fighting with just pure Dragoon now, though, and Lurkers are going to run up. Take this fight. Zealots come for the assist, but... The Dragoon number has been reduced and there are no Templars left to fight with this. Three are just coming out of the natural now. These Lurkers here on high ground going to be holding their position. There's the Snipes on the Observers. Oh, only one Observer goes down. That's kind of crazy. A bit hard to target those things when they're right on top of each other, but... He does pick off the one Observer and he gets a bunch of these Dragoons taken out. Probe is trying to start a base over here. It's been spotted by Soma. So if he just sends a few lings, he'll force a response. And I don't think that Sins can keep that alive. Army is going to probably rotate up here now because he really doesn't have an observer to try and push this high ground any longer. He's used most of his gas at this point. Just trying to get more Templar out and he doesn't have an observer at all. Is he going to build one? He's just not got any in production. Is he forgotten about observers? What are we looking at? Oh boy, those zealots cannot make it out that way. Really wanted to do a counterattack, but GG is called. Sins taps out. Damn. Well, this makes me feel some type of way, guys. This is uh, cathartic here to watch these Zerg players just dominate uh, Sins, who is a really highly ranked Protoss player. It's not like he's you no know, bottom of the barrel by any means. He's an ASL level. I think he's made plenty of, you know, top four, top eight appearances in the ACS. He's done a lot of, you know, pro matches. He's won quite a bit of money. And so watching these Zergs just kind of bully him and push him around the map and watching how they react i think i'm gonna learn a lot from this series i'll have to go back maybe on stream and break down these replays a little bit more carefully and kind of dissect them in the the moment to moment decision making of soma soul key and action very impressed with these guys wow he's gonna go ultra as well just add insult to injury here. I would have liked to see that actually. You can see fifth of uh, sorry, fifth gas and a sixth gas is gonna come up. So on six gas, the amount of ultras you can make is kind of crazy. We're gonna see a really wild um view here in a few minutes if Sins manage to stay in, but he taps out before that can happen, guys. Thank you so much for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're having fun uh, watching the SSL and stuff. Again, as always, no spoilers for that, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the Tastosis cast to come out. Uh, eagerly waiting here. Unfortunately, no KCM this week. There should be a KCM coming up uh, this week. Last week, or last week, this past weekend, we didn't have one. I didn't get any announcement about it from KCM himself. Uh, I, I'm pretty good at keeping up to date with what uh, he's announcing, so I didn't see anything, and uh, I I did check on the day when it was supposed to be out, and I didn't see anything, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. He might have mentioned it in the previous broadcast, but of course I didn't catch it because I don't speak Korean, but it is what it is, guys. We're going to have probably KCM this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be doing some streaming, of course, like I said. Come check me out. Twitch.tv slash Peace out, guys.